Hi, I am Hemant and I manage the Cold Fusion engineering team at Adobe. When we started Cold Fusion 10, security was one of the topmost agenda that we had in our mind. Though we are seeing an increased attention around security attack in recent times, I am pleased with the overall improvement around security that we have done in Cold Fusion 10. I want to talk about Cold Fusion security improvements. As I said, when we started Cold Fusion 10, we set the following goals. We wanted to improve patch adoption so that our customers are on the latest version of Cold Fusion. We wanted to improve the default configuration so that when you install Cold Fusion, you get all the security settings or everything uh, that makes sense. And finally, we wanted to make it easier for developers to create secure Cold Fusion application. With these goals, we set up a three-pronged strategy. On the, on the first side, we wanted to bring about changes in our process. We wanted to make improvements with our product. And finally, we wanted to improve the way we notify our customers about patches and how they can install. I would like to describe each of these three areas in detail. The first one on process improvements. The first thing that we did was we changed, we, we made some changes in the team setup. We, ha we now have a dedicated security czar on the team and her job is to look at all the security issues and incidents that are reported and proactively fix them. The second change was to have a dedicated quality engineering person working on the security issues. And then we also established process for reviewing security issues. We also focused a lot on training. We wanted to have everyone on the team with level one security belt. And we now have everyone covered with level one, level one security belt certification. We also have architects with level two belt on security. And we have one person who's a level three and a level four security belt certified within the team. The, the objective was to increase the overall understanding of security and the appreciation of uh, how security can impact the product and really to think about security when you are building the features. We also improved overall testing infrastructure that we have in our labs. So we, we had a lot of tools around security scan, Vera code, app scan, fuzzing, uh, etc. And I mentioned earlier, because of a dedicated security QE, we are now able to run a lot of those uh, processes. And in terms of development process, really we changed quite a bit. We started reviewing all reported security issues. We reviewed third party libraries. We now have a regular bug fix schedule on uh, security. And all the security bugs are marked with a higher priority markers so that when we triage, we are giving them enough attention. And I think the last uh, uh, part is really critical. Security is part of a feature sign off checklist. So whenever a feature is signed off, we evaluate it on the security perspective and make sure that everything is taken care of at the feature development time. The second strategy really revolves around product enhancements. So if you look at Cold Fusion 10, we have made tremendous improvement in the product around security. There is an improved session and cookie protection. There are a lot of new APIs around cross-site scripting. Uh, there are new APIs and methodologies around uh, CSRF, which is cross-site request forgery attacks. We have provided methods for session fixation issues. Uh, on click jacking, we have also provided uh, a mechanisms to protect your applications against click jacking attack. And there is a really new kind of attack vector that uh, uh, we are seeing. Uh, there is a secure profile. So when you install Cold Fusion 10, you can tell Cold Fusion to install Cold Fusion using secure option or non-secure option. So when you choose secure option, most of your settings 
are in secure mode. And uh, there are around 17 uh, odd secure settings uh, and we have documented uh, which all settings gets applied when you choose secure profile. So you really have the flexibility to change them later on. But to begin with, you can actually decide to install Cold Fusion in a secure mode. We have also made a lot of uh, uh, security fixes around Cold Fusion Administrator. And then there are a lot of other enhancements around uh, CRLF and uh, post size uh, data request. We will have detailed, uh, we will have a YouTube uh, video coming out later on, on some of these product enhancements. On the third axis, uh, we have improved our notification and install. And believe me, it was, it was a pain point. It was a pain point that we have heard from many of our customers. Going through 15 steps to install a patch was not, uh, was not fun. But with Cold Fusion 10, you can, uh, install your patches just by a single click. So in your administrator, you can actually see um, a notification when a new patch is available and you can download and install. Really easy. Uh, and if we are releasing a critical security patch, we know our customers are going to upgrade uh, real soon uh, using this mechanism. So in this presentation, I have really covered uh, uh, things at a very high level, uh, what we have done and continue to do so around uh, uh, security improvements. In subsequent videos, we are going to talk a little bit more about uh, the product enhancements that we have done uh, and about the secure profile. If you have any questions or comments, you can uh, uh, comment here on our YouTube channel or you can write to us on blogs.coldfusion.com. Thank you.